Hi there, I'm Napta, and welcome to episode 71 of our Scarlet and Violet Blind Nuzlocke. Last time we defeated the gym here, uh, so this time we're going to go ahead and explore this cute little town. I just want one glimpse. Okay, we already talked to that guy. Uh, we're going to explore this town, and then I think we might go uh, explore the area around it. The battle court here. And then we're going to head towards this t fairy team starbase. Uh, let's see what this woman has to say. The battle court here was originally built as an observatory to view the stars. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and head on up there and check it out. Because items and whatnot. Okay, so we got Clefable. Oh my gosh, I love it! They're using the old sprites! It's so, like we have um, the Helix Fossil. And there's the one for bugs. And the water types. And birds. And... Rhydon, which is I think also rocks, and there's like a Taurosy looking one, and there's plants. Oh my gosh, I love it! <gasps> Look at the little horsey! Alright, very cool. Alright, um... Oh, I can't ride Coradon. How about over here? Can I ride Coradon over here? Hi, I want that. Thank you. Excellent. Oh my gosh, I love their use of the old sprites! Oh, almost ran right off the building. Alright, there we go. Okay, this is such a cool use of the old sprites. I mean, it's kind of fun that it's, you know, built as an observatory, but, like, where's the dome? Like, did they take the dome off when they built the, uh... Or is it up? Is it up, is it up even farther? We're gonna have to look at that when we get back on the ground, because I think we're too close to pan the camera sufficiently. I don't know why I decided to go back down the stairs, but I love, love, love their use of the old sprites as if they were mosaic tiles. Ooh, an item behind the gym. Who'd have thought? Alright, let's see what these guys have to say now that we've cleared this. Uh, nope, okay, same things as before. Alright, so this is South Province. We've, we've already had our attempt of an encounter. Ooh, what do you got to say? Up. Ahead of here, there was a Pokemon that reminded me of tea up the hilly road ahead of here. Oh, so it's like Pulte Iced is up there? Nifty. Alright, let's go ahead and explore this town first, though. Look at the Curlia! Such lovely dishes. Alright, then. Alright, we got a whole gang of people hanging out with their Psychozars. Phew, that was a long trip. Time to take a rest. You came all this way. Wasn't it tough coming all the way out to Alfornada? But now that you've been here once, you can use the flying taxi to come back whenever you want. Yes, fast travel is nice. A repeat ball, which is kind of funny talking about repeating visits to places. So inconvenient. Alfornada is such an inconvenient location. Having a trusty Cyclozar is an absolute must here. I love the different, like, colors and, like, they even have, like, a license plate rack on their Cyclozars. Like, seriously. They, they've got some very fun uh, design decisions that have been made. Alright. We got ourselves a lovely TM. Looks like we've got everything. I just remembered there was that item on top of the roof in the town with the grass gym. And now that we've got better um, hopping ability on... Radon, we should be able to get to that. So dopey, taking it slow. So pokey. Are you guys having fun making fun of slow poke? Because that seems awfully mean to me. Alright. There's the, the stadium. Making our way through town. Uh, you don't have anything to say, okay? What about you? Nope, you're just chilling at your table by yourself. Seems kind of lonely, but okay. Got some birds hanging out on the bushes. That's not a real door. Uh, swimming pool that I almost went and took a bath in. A uh, guy back here just chilling on the back of this building, saying nothing. Okay. I would have thought if you're going to bother to put somebody looking, you know, real sneaky behind the building that they'd say something. But nope. I love Pokemon. I love your Pokemon. Ho, ho, ho. Are you uh, practicing to be Santa? You uh, might be missing a few other aspects, like beard and a red suit. There's water just in the streets. That's kind of interesting. So cute. I actually came here to see the gym leader, Tulip. 
but these plates are super cute too. Oh, the ones that are up on the wall? I love that she's like taking a selfie with the the wall. Got a little fountain in the ground over here. We got a grumpig following this cute little girl. Pokemon! So pretty. Think you can drink it? Um, given that I've seen, you know, like it's in the street, you can just walk through it. I would not drink that. All right, what we got going on over here? This guy's just strolling. Welcome. You see, the trick is a, to a good glaze is I see what you mean. I'm assuming they're talking about pottery glazes, and that they make plates here in this factory-esque building potentially, um, and not glazes like you'd put on food, because those are two completely different things. Glazing is actually quite fun for pottery. All right. So we've been through there, we've been over here. Let's see here. What do you have to say? What time is it now? Good question, sir. Those mosaics. The Pokemon mosaics, mosaic art on the observatory is really cute, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of some kind of old video game. Gotta be self-referential. That's half the fun of it. Okay. Got that. What's going on over here? You guys just hanging out under some... The bird feet are through the umbrella. That's hilarious. Nope. Maybe. Um. Oh, I've, I've crouched. Okay. Didn't mean to crouch, but cool. At least we're not stuck. I was really concerned for a second that we'd frozen. Alright. So we've talked to everybody over here. So now we've got the front side of this building. Um, that one's not real. This one's a cafe. Do you say anything? No, you do not. Okay. Um, let's get what the fancy restaurant's got to say. Welcome. What can we get for you? Uh. Ooh, I encounter power ice. Imagine that. Given that we need an ice type for the dragon. But, I mean, we have some. We just, you know, our team is full. Ooh, catching power ice. Ooh, experience power fairy. Huh. Experience flying. Experience flying. I mean, that thing's really gonna help us very much. So we're gonna not do that right now. Uh, some things never change. Alrighty then. Okay. I think we've talked to them before. Uh, another sandwich shop person. Ooh, actually, not a sandwich shop. Uh, on the outside, at least. Maybe, maybe we actually go into this one? Tasty fillings. I'd like to buy some stuff. I need to get some more flags. Otherwise, we're gonna run out of flags for our sandwiches. Uh, let's get some Eevee flags. We'll get a couple. No, not 800 of them. Thank you very much, game. I, I like sandwiches quite a bit, but not 800, 900, whatever. I don't want that many sandwich flags. Thank you. Imagine just spending your entire allowance, all of your money, on sandwich flags. Um, heroic sword pick. Um, we're going to get one of those just because I want to see what it looks like. And, oh, let's get two of these magical star ones, because that sounds like fun. Uh, a parasol! Oh, that's fun. Get one of those. And a, a winking Pikachu? Oh, we'll just, we'll just do one. We don't need to go crazy here. Ooh, party sparkler? They've got all sorts of fun flags here. Or picks, or whatever. Alright, what is a sunset flower pick going to look like? I don't know, we're going to find out. We're going to just have some fun with sandwiches, apparently, in the near future. Alright. Um, I guess I should probably pick up some more actual, like, ingredients, too, then. We've got plenty of ham, we got lettuce, onion. Actually, we only have lettuce and onion good for, like, one sandwich. Uh, we're going to get some more lettuce, because I... Or, le more onion, because I like onion. Um... think uh, we need a couple whipped cream because we're apparently out. Oh, that's because we made all those dessert sandwiches. Get some peanut butter as well. All right. I apologize to everyone that I've just made very hungry. All right. We'll get one of those as well. Why not? All right. 
We're good. Probably more than good. Um, maybe I could use that exercise. I know I could. Yeah, I could too, apparently, after how much food I'm gonna be eating. Packed full of goodness. Ooh, I wonder if they've got any new recipes for us in this sandwich shop. Alright, new sandwiches! Oh, it's you again! I thought up some new recipes! Excellent. Those recipes make some mouth-wateringly good sandwiches. Give them a try sometime. Alright, cool. You, you still have more new, or just that's all? Alright, cool. Alright, we got this guy over here with his grumpig. These guys over here with their, uh, hat antenna. That's, it's the best. It's the greatest! We got a bronze ore with his guy over here. And on this side, I want another, I want another. You'll make yourself sick. And the strong silent guy and uh, another strong silent gentleman. All right. We've explored the sandwich shop. I think we're almost done with town, honestly. This is not one of the particularly large cities. So, we're getting there. Packed full of goodness. All right. So we've got this little square over here. What's over here? Uh, nothing. Some more nothingness. A slow poke and a well with a little girl. Trickle, trickle. The water's trickling out. I wish you'd shoot out like hydro pump though. Wouldn't that be neat? Not really. It'd make a mess and get everything wet. All right. I think for that kind of fountain, just a little gentle flow is very good. All right. What are these two up to? It's huge! It's really popular! Tehor made from in Alfornada is popular all across Paldea. Then why isn't there a Baggins here? It's huge! These plates, huge! How big of a sandwich do you think would fit on it? Which plate are we talking about? They all look the same as all the other plates that we've seen on decorating buildings. Admittedly, they're all quite large, but I wouldn't classify these ones as huge relative to the other ones. Alright. Uh, what's this guy got to say? See, pottery is born from the kiln. Potters put shaped clay inside and let it fire nice and slow for days. Alright, very cool. Here's a fun story for you all. I was cooking with my mother once and I wanted to warn her that the oven was hot. For some reason, couldn't think of the word oven. So I blurted out the first thing that came to mind, which was, The food kiln is hot. And my mother freezes, and she looks at me and she goes, The food kiln? You mean the oven? It's like, yeah, that's the word, but she didn't get burned, so I think my messaging was still very effective. If maybe a little bit silly. Let's take it slow, my dear. Mighty quiet, ain't it? Alright, I think that the last thing to do is visit the Pokemon Center and talk to these two fine people. My family's been making pottery for generations. Isn't that cool? Actually, it is. It's really quite cool. Uh, and then this is the person saying, Welcome, welcome to Alfornada, a town where you can see the stars and find excellent pottery. I mean, it would actually have great sightseeing for the stars uh, because it's out by itself, so it wouldn't have a lot of the light pollution from the other towns. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I do need to heal my Pokemon, please, and they Actually, I don't really think I do. Because we did that gym battle without taking any damage. But still good to get our move slots back. So we'll heal for that reason. Alright. My team's all better. I think what we're going to do now is go ahead and... We're going to put... Natalie up front for now. And do some more battling in this uh, general area. Uh, I believe there's this guy over here we haven't battled yet. Behold these muscles! I see them. I... Actually, you look pretty pretty buff, honestly, with the rain. I built these muscles with many trips to the gym. My brilliant Ron, Ron will surely lead me to victory. Um, we'll see about that. Alright, eyes in the courier. Reveroom! I love this little car guy. I want to know if Reveroom actually evolves into Starmobile or not, or what, what gives. I'm going to go ahead and Psybeam, because that's neutral. And we've got a good number of levels. She did not do very much. We are not going to let ourselves get hit in confusion. Nope, just not happening. 
We're gonna go ahead and switch to something else that's actually good against Forever Room. Uh, which, in this case... It's Chonk! Chonk is going to come in. To everyone's great surprise, right? Alright, Chonk A. I love this car! I really, really, really love this car. Okay. My defense harshly fell, but that's fine because we are going to earth power this thing right off the map. Bye bye Alright, Reverie Room fainted. And, I just remember we were going to check the TM machine to see if there's any flying moves that we could teach to uh, Siobhan. My massive musculature mis misled me. Try saying that three times fast. Alright, let's zip back over here. And see what the TM machine has going on for it. I love that it's the technical machine machine. I just, I can't. This is the technical machine machine. What service are you in need of today, trainer? I want a TM. Okay, so I need a flying type move. All right, that Mabostiff can learn. That appears to be a big fat nope. Um. Actually, I want to check and see how much the. Did we get any of that Terra thing? Uh, what category is? I'm assuming the Terra thing is under normal type. Um, where is it? Batonoplast, Hyper Beam, Terra Blast. There it is. Uh, I need gim Glimit Crystals. Okay. I do not. I, I know I don't. Um, I don't want to exchange materials for LP. I want to exchange LP for materials. Alright. I want to find some limits, apparently. Um, oh my gosh, look at Look at the little doggy! Look at him! He's so cute! He's all like baked! I wanna know what he's named. We're gonna we're gonna battle this we're not gonna actually do the battle, but I just wanna know what he's called. Hi there! Doshbun. <laughs> oh. You're so hilarious. Alright, we're gonna run. Um, but that that is hilarious. All right. Look at the little puppy. All right, let's go ahead and hop on up this thing and see if there's any good items up here. Koreanon is like, he's always digging his nails into things. Like, seriously, can we stop climbing up everything? All right, so we've got that area up there that we can explore. We've got this kind of area down here. And then... It looks like there's some areas over there as well that are on top of the cave that we can explore. So I'm kind of hoping that we can do kind of this lowlands area today. Um, and then once we explore this bit, we will go head over towards the um, Team Star Base. So we're just going to do a little bit of zigzagging back and forth, make sure we don't miss any trainers in this kind of level area near... Oh, hey, look, that thing is not quite as frightening when it's not bigger than we are. Um... Alright, let's see. If there's anything else good up here. Ooh, there's a new Terra uh, raid location. Klefki! I actually think Klefki's a really cool Pokemon design. I know there's some people that aren't quite as fond because it's yet another, you know, inanimate object that's, for some reason, animate, but... I mean, there's been a lot of those throughout the game, so I don't know why people were so upset in that generation about how many there were. Is that...? Okay, that's a Rock-type Oranguru, if I'm reading that correctly. I do not feel the need to take on a Rock-type Oranguru. Uh, but it's cool to know that he's out here. Oh, we got one of those grieve yards. Uh, Murkrow. 
see what's going on over here. Looks like a lot of nothing. Okay. Um, we've got Pokeball, Hodge Crows, and Murkrows, and Gothitelle, with their little Gotharitas. All right. We are almost out of space to explore right here. Oh, look at that little family of salty little crab things. It's like hermit crabs made of rocks. Ooh, there is an item out here. I thought there might be. Because Pokemon likes to... <gasps> it's a Gimagool. Hi there, Gimagool. You trying to hide out here? You failed. Alright, let's go ahead and run back over this way. And not bother the ostrich. There's actually a lot of new birds. Oh, hey, it's Sinisty! Hi there! Uh, we are going to go ahead and air slash this thing because we can. Actually, that didn't do as much as I was expecting. But Giga Drain did nothing to us, so... Alright, one more air slash should be sufficient. Alright, cool. And it's now nighttime, apparently. Alright. We've got... Looks like we've almost finished covering this kind of ground area near the town on this side. Alright, we're going to kind of stop right where these rocks are. And then we'll cover this bit over here. Alright. Yay, ghost types. My favorite. Not really. There are a lot of ghostiness going on with the... As soon as it gets to be nighttime. That's something that I think they kind of carried over from Arceus. But because, like... I think almost every ghost type we've seen has been an old Pokemon. It's not been so exciting to see those ghost types everywhere. Because, like, it's been, like... Well, we got Shuppet and Bayonet here, which are kind of different, because most of the other ones have been Ghastlies and Driflums. And uh, Hoppips. But this one's got, like, Sinistee, so that's fun, at least. Um, I'm gonna run. I don't want to get too much experience from these guys. Yeah, just all the ghost types just floating around. Alright, nothing over there. Another Terra Raid location, so that's cool. Oh, I did not mean to run into that CST. It's very hard to see them, they're very small. Alright. Oh, it's even on the backside of this uh, observatory area. Is that one of the capsaicin little guys? Alright, that's a Toxtricity's head, not a sparkly thing on the ground that I should pick up. <gasps> Look at them running together! Okay, that's a ghost-type Komala. Huh. It's a Star 4 raid. We haven't done a Star 4. Um, I think we go for it. We, we, I think I want to, I want to see how we do with, with the Star Four raid because so far we haven't had a raid that even made us like flinch. I mean, sure, battling things that I don't need to be battling and potentially losing team members because you can't run from a raid is probably a bad idea. But I believe in Chiffon. All right, and this squad of strangers that have joined me. All right, Chiffon. Do big things. Rousy Komala. All right, let's crunch this. Sucker Punch does not do much to us. All right. Ooh, that did not do much. All right. Ooh, that did good damage, though. 
stockpiling. Okay. I mean, we got it past half already. And we've used very little of the time. And... Energy has begun to gather around tomorrow. Um... I don't want to tear my Pokemon. Because if I tear her, then I don't have stab anymore. Oh, but it said both. You get both stabs. Right? I mean, if it's telling me to tear my Pokemon, I will tear my Pokemon. But... I think we maintain our same type attack bonus on both. I'll have to read that more carefully when we start uh, live. Okay. Uh, Sneeze is starting to look. Come on, we're making the effects for myself. Alright. Crunch! Ooh, we're so close to knocking it out. Okay. I believe our, our group has got this. Subscribe, succumb to the onslaught and broke its stance. I also don't like the fact that we're so low on health with Chiffon, but we're gonna finish off this Kamala, so all is fine. Okay. It's kind of creepy. Alright, so we are going to avoid force. I don't know. We, we might. I mean, we'll, get, we'll do better when we get higher level, right? It seems like these things do scale. I want to know what level this thing is. Um... So we'll go ahead and catch it. Alright. Cool. We caught Kamala. Alrighty. Exciting. Alright. Kamala spends its entire life feeding. We're not gonna give it a nickname because it's not actually part of the team. Alright, let's go see what he is what what we got going on for it though. Look at the book, it's so cute. Alright. Uh boxes. Level 45, okay, so yeah, pretty formidable, uh the four star raids. But that was cool. Um. Alright, cool. So we've got two ice types in our boxes, which is good. Um, but I'm really hoping they stay in the boxes, but at the same point in time, they'd be super useful against the Dragon Titan. I am very concerned. I mean, they make a big deal out of the other Titan, the ground one being, you know, like that's the one they showed us in the book. So I'm hoping that the Dragon Titan will probably be just, like, a normal Pokemon that's just big. But I'm just, I'm very nervous about it. Alright, what's this? Ooh, we have a partially submerged watchtower. The Leaking Tower of Paldea, one of the ten sites of Paldea. Alright. We have apparently been attacked by a Golduck who doesn't like that we were just looking at this tower. We're not gonna give it what it wants, though. We are, however, going to go swim over to this tower. Uh, grab that. There's a given rule. Oh my gosh, it even, like, set at an angle. That's so cool. Alright, let's get off and head on up. Oh, can't climb it because it's at an angle. Interesting. Okay. Whee! Splash. Alright, we got everything from that area, I think. I'm gonna kind of see what's up here, because I'm curious like that. Oh! Okay, so the way that you get to the next tier on this particular tower isn't by climbing it. It's by, uh... Jumping. Whoa, don't fall down that hole. Okay. Um... Okay, so we're here. Let's see if there's anything on this tier. It looks like a big bat. Nope. Okay, well that was fun. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead, oops, and step on something. Oh, one of those little robot grasshoppers. And we're gonna hop over here, hop over that. All right, let's go ahead and finish clearing this kind of flat land that the town is on. We're gonna kind of use this rock as our our gateway here. Make sure we don't miss anything cool. Like that Pokeball that just came out of nowhere. That's a Pokemon. Alright. This area is really quite large. Sparkle! A Greppa Berry. There's a lot of sparkles in the grass over here. All the berries. Alright. So as soon as we finish exploring this kind of land mass, uh, we will probably wrap up for the day. The big decision we'll have to make next time is do we explore around here some more? Um, or do we go straight for Team Star and just go for it and hope that we have uh, enough? I mean, Team Star is so close to where things were and the levels are pretty comparable. So I feel like Team Star has got to be an acceptable direction to have chosen to go. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just nervous, I guess. I don't want to lose anybody. I'm really nervous about the uh, Titan. The fact that it's the Dragon Titan and the final Titan. But they haven't made a big deal out of it like they did the ground one. Like, the ground one is the only one that doesn't look right. But then again, we haven't seen uh, what the Dragon Titan looks like. So, is it an alternate? You know? Like, we had the... the for lack of a better word, Mega Dawn fan. Is the Dragon Titan going to be like that? Or is it going to be just a normal, you know, Dragon Pokemon? Just, just big, like the clock was. Who knows? We will find that out soonish. But I'm very nervous about it in the meanwhile. Especially since the Pokemon there are all level 50 to begin with. That's got to be the last place we're supposed to go. Alright. Got a couple swoops left to finish uh, covering this area. Make sure we don't miss anything in this little bit over here. Alright. Sparkle! Another Greppa Berry. Okie dokie. You're like half falling asleep against that tree over there, bud. Alright, we have successfully cleared everything around this town. So, yeah, next time we've covered everything up to here. So, next time we could just snake down this and then see if we can hop down here and get a water encounter, because I'm assuming that this is part of the East Lake. And we've only done the West Paldea, because we got our... Um, we got a Pokemon from over here. So we've got one from from the East Paldean Sea. So I could totally go and get another from a, the West Paldean Sea. And it looks like there should be access. So I think that's what we're going to plan on doing next time. Is we're going to go down this kind of wiggly bit. We might go up and check out this top bit first. Because there's like a nice little dragon right up top. Go up, check out that, and then... Yeah, I think it's time to do the, the Team Star stuff. Should be exciting. So, thanks you guys so much for joining me once again. I'm Nefta, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!